one of the most common attacks I get from people on the other side is you're just a cartoonist. I think I'll listen to a scientist or a doctor rather than a cartoonist, um, which is interesting because obviously I'm not just a cartoonist. You know, I'm, I'm a person who's had experiences and thought about this stuff. I'm a parent, I'm a husband, I'm a brother, I'm a son. Um, very weird, this thing that was established early on where if you're not a scientist, not just a scientist, but unless you're a virologist or an epidemiologist, you can't have an opinion on this. You can't possibly know whether this is right or wrong. Extraordinary idea to put out. So many people still seem to stick to that. And, it, and, and you think, well, what we're dealing with here, this situation goes way beyond science, or health or, or medicine or statistics. This encompasses everything. This, this is, the, you know, the huge questions about humanity, who we are, where are we going, what's the point of life? Every single human being on the planet has a right to an opinion on this. The only qualification you need is to have lived and to have experiences. You know, that's, that's it. And I think as, we, as we've seen, in many ways the last people who should be telling us what we ought to do are the scientists, are the, the data-obsessed writers of algorithms who, who you know, pull graphs out of their backsides and, and tell everyone to stay at home. Um, they've made it very clear that most of them have no idea what life's all about, what love means, or how, how we should balance risk. I'm Bob Moran, I'm a cartoonist and illustrator and um, I worked for The Telegraph as their political cartoonist for 10 years um, and I'm now freelance. Deze uitzending eindigt op YouTube hier. En dat is misschien maar beter ook. Want het moet stoppen met de censuur. Klik op de link onderin en kijk verder vanaf onze website.